you have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey. We just got back. We went to Nashville, had a great, we met with, met with our coaches. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone has a coach. Mm -hmm. Even the coaches have a coach, okay, a, a master. So, you know, you're looking to level up, okay? All right, either busy Ooh, living or busy dying, okay? okay? Talking. All right, mm -hmm. so we met with, uh, with, our, with our coaches in uh, Nashville, mm -hmm. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. And, uh, and uh, we took a couple days just to, after that, just to play a little bit mm -hmm. in Nashville. Yes. Great city, mm -hmm. right? A lot of cool stuff there. And, uh, but while we were there, we, uh, the lovely Laura got all excited because our kids all have iPhones. They do. Even the, they've been the people, all the people, you know, we meet, I mean, I the just, people we look up to all even out. have iPhones. And yes. it's like, okay, I guess we got to cool up. Yeah, I, we're, I we're trying to level up. I guess we got to cool up. I guess so. You know, and we and so, did. so we went to iPhones, mm -hmm. which I just, I didn't even barely learn everything with my Android. <laughs> You know, and now we have this stuff going on. I think it has really little to do with that part and more just technical difficulties okay. here in the studios. Okay, that's but good. Hopefully we'll get it back. I guess I'm waiting for a thing from um, okay. our producer to say we do have everybody in the house. I'm hoping we do. Okay, we do. Mm -hmm. well, let's and bring we, on whoever, mm -hmm. whoever we can here, whenever or whatever. Okay. But we're talking about creating a company culture. Mm -hmm. You know, and culture is that, you know, it's, it's not a mission statement. It's not, um, you know, it's not, it's not about the plumbing that kind of a thing mm -hmm. you know culture is what how the business runs or how the business is associated so people know how to behave even if you're not there yes you know mm -hmm. so what are what are some good examples of, oh, of culture <laughs> what, though, you, you know, <laughs> you know, um, you know like technology uh, you know like you know <laughs> ibm you know mm -hmm. ibm you had a no you know it's known for they were all suits oh yeah and, and that, that kind Back of thing was, you know it was all buttoned up mm -hmm. and then, then you you know you go to um you know, something like apple mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. which wasn't all buttoned up right and in fact, you know, the whole thing with Apple was about being, you know, later on it was one of the best, you know, campaigns ever mm -hmm. was about being different, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of a thing. Right. But, but it was to push the envelope, okay. you, know? Mm -hmm. you know, to make it more, you know, personal with, with our plumbing business and always try to get, you know, culture, you know, you know, you can, you know, your culture is defined. You got a good handle on your culture when you, when you can, you know, when one, one word can describe it, it's what are you doing mm -hmm. to make sure instill. that culture instill that culture yes because you're instilling a culture whether you are instilling one or not <laughs> you know are you a good witch or a bad witch <laughs> you know, the old Hopefully wizard of oz it's, it's, you know it's a glinda the good witch <laughs> all right so uh, they, well do you want to try and see what let's, happens let's try, i would let me try to bring these guys okay, in okay i'd love to bring the masters <clears> in unless shelby says shelby let's roll the, let's throw there we go what? All right, yeah. we got Love it. we got Mr. Daryl Whitaker, Inception Plumbing, Inception. Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. All right, there we go. And last but not least, Mr. Bo McKenzie. Well, it's good to have you guys here. Smile, mm -hmm. say something. Because <laughs> right. we're gonna leave. Yeah, right. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll dive in. I think Bandy hit it the nail on the head with the with the um, talking about the customer. So. That's always been like really, really huge with us from the get goes. Part of our culture is to make sure the customer is taken care of, number one. So I think letting your, your having your techs know that you're not yeah. chasing the dollar, but you're chasing the customer experience and service mm -hmm. is like huge part of letting them know where your, your mind is. You know, mm -hmm. you're not trying to get a gold chain or a vet. You know, you're <laughs> focusing in on customer experience end to end. It's not about, did we make money? It's, is the customer happy? And then we'll look at, did we make money? Right. Mm -hmm. So getting, always making sure that the customer is taken care of. That's always been a big part of our company culture. Uh, like my lead guy, James, I always ask him, is the customer happy? That's mm -hmm. the first thing I ask, mm -hmm. customer happy. And he knows that. So he would probably do the same thing. Like you said, he'd pull that card and he's done that. He's made those calls where he's like, I just went ahead and, you know, discounted or I did this or did that. 
because that that's yeah. number one. That's what makes businesses survive mm. is focus on the customer. So right. definitely on the head. That's a big, that's, Darryl, that's on the top of my list, actually. My well, head. yeah, I stole it from Daryl. Uh, yeah. Daryl, you're exactly right. Uh, most plumbing companies don't think of giving their customers yeah. an experience, right? They think of I'm going to go right. in and fix the toilet or I'm going to go and fix the sink or whatever right. it is. Right. But to give them ex an yeah. experience, that's what sets at least these masters apart. So, so DW, I know that. So how do you so serving the customer is a large part of your your culture and the focus on that. I know it's focus. Mm -hmm. We've had conversations. How, how do you instill that into your culture, into your guy? How do your guys know? What do you do so that your guys know that our culture is about taking care of the customer? Is the customer happy? Well, I love the concept of what you say is responsibility, um, but we don't drive it home like that that hard. But you know, I would love to adopt that idea because it, 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 there's power in what you say, you know, with that concept. But overall, I think we really have strategic ways we approach the customer's home, you know, from how you park your vehicle to how you walk up to the house. I mean, it's, it, it's a planned out event because you can't just go up to Mrs. Jones' door and walk up right up in the door. You know, you need, she needs to see your name tag. So we go into all those strategic plans and details so the customer inevitably gets a good experience because the plum is just a piece of what we do. So mm -hmm. going through these things with the technician all the time and going over and over and over again, did you do this process? Did you follow these steps? You know, I think they get it. You know, we're not saying what did the stop look like or how did the supply line look like? You know, we look at those things, but on the whole, they know that we have step-by-step -step procedures to make the customer comfortable with their experience, you know, um, and, you know, all the things, giving options and all those things. That's not about just necessarily our company. That's about the customer's experience, having choice. All those things is about right. the customer, 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 right? And I love hearing um, those, those words come out of your mouth, DW, because I I know you. We, we work together and, you know, a uh, little um, transparency. Yes. DW has been a, you know, a, you know, a client, that kind of thing, well, and been through the process. Yeah. And I know you as a master technician. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy right. is all about it being right and done right. So in his words, he's not saying, I love how you say, when you say, hey, we're not asking about, you know, is it whatever straight to stop yeah. or whatever. I know you expect it to be right. So it was by of saying we're we focusing do. on the customer, it's, it's not, not we're saying that, but we're not saying that the plumbing is yeah. not important, but culture is not the plumbing. The culture is exactly. whatever this other thing it is, which involves the plumbing, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. We run a service business. So, and um, customer customer service, uh, supporting that, um, interacting with the customer, those things are, that's what matters. Um, and the plumbing is, it's a piece of it and it's gotta be done right. But if you wanna have a happy customer, it's about the experience, the interaction, looking good, smelling good, all those things. How all you answer things. the phone. If, exactly. If, 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 there's so many things that goes, goes into that. So, mm -hmm. but anyway. Yes. Yep. Right mm -hmm. Matt. Uh, at Mountaineer, we always push the, um, I came up with the three P's, you yeah. know, and that's going to be professionalism. So that comes with your branded truck, your uniform, how you look, how you greet Mrs. Jones, right? The next thing is going to be that the customer always wants the fix to be long-term or permanent. So it's professionalism, permanence. Um, because we always want to go in, we don't want to be the salesman, but we want to be problem solvers and the customer is looking for the long-term permanent solution. And the last thing that we push is peace of mind. The customer wants to know that whatever they just purchased, you're going to stand behind that with some type of warranty. And, and right. so those three P's are kind of like the core value of my culture is, hey, we're going to look professional. We're going to show up when we say we're going to show up. We're going to take care of you. We're going to spend 100% of our time and focus on you when we're at the house. And then the, the, the permanence pushing, recommending as a professional what needs to be done because mm -hmm. society, our society is trained that we're, if, a, if a professional, like if the doctor says, hey, you need a CAT scan, I'm not going to say, well, that's too expensive. I'm not doing a CAT scan. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. same thing. Hey, we need a camera in your sewer. There's mm -hmm. a serious issue. I'm not just going to pop it open and leave and, and wait a week for you to call me back. No, mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cable it. I'm going to camera it. I'm going to let you know exactly what's going to go on. And I'm going to tell you a more permanent solution so you don't have to worry about this call again. And if somehow it does come back six months later, three months later, we're going to come back. We're going to give you peace of mind. We're going to take care of any, and we're going to stand behind anything that we do. And that's how we get the service to that next notch. 
that a lot of these other companies they're missing out because they're not they're not giving their customer peace of mind and that has to come from your culture it has to be so driven into your company that so how, so matt how, how do you drive that into your guys i know you've been successful with, with bringing guys up and building guys and, and quite frankly rather quickly mm -hmm. um, with the same guys yeah. that other shops have been using and, yep. and you're doing doing a really good job how do you drive that into your guys passion passion you you have to be passionate whatever you do your guys are going to do that much a little bit less but it goes both ways you know if you have right. a bad habit they take a little bit further you have a good habit they take a little bit less <laughs> <You know? laughs> like kids <laughs> <laughs> don't quote me on that, and that no, and see, i love true. the passion <laughs> well, well the passion's a big that guys that, that's a nugget of gold yeah. right there because you know like like with me i never fired a guy never got on a guy never yelled at a guy in all my my history for a guy messing up a plumbing job never not once now i may have gone in my office or out by the truck and had a you know blew a gasket hissy fit yeah hissy fit privately <laughs> you know cried went you know went to the bar and just drank too much just to lose the day whatever you know but i that never happened yeah i never did it in front of the guys never 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 but i have a guy show up in the tech room with a shirt untucked and i'd be like what the f Right. you know <laughs> out, out of here you know that that kind of thing and that drove the culture home that you're not showing up that's a uniform mm -hmm. it is to be perfect you know every single time and you ought to have your shirt tucked in but that that's how it drove the, the culture home you know that kind of thing we would get on guys we would shame guys for asking for help I know shaming is not a popular thing we're all supposed <laughs> to be like one another and don't make them feel bad but I'd have big guys, you know, we'd shame them for asking for help for, you know, pulling out a 50 gallon gas water heater, you know, come on, that's a call. Hey, hey, we're, you know, we are the guys again, that kind of a thing. That's part of the culture. So we created that. So we'd have these green guys come in and they're looking to take care, you know, I, we, as we were talking in the green room, while we were getting ready here and we were talking about, you know, master plumbers, apprentice plumbers, I had apprentice plumbers doing better and making more money for themselves and for me because they bought into this culture and you know, went with it, but it's driving it home. So mm -hmm. how, how did you, Matt, you know, how, how did you drive the home? It was a passion, you know, you have passion. an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lastly, lastly though, with passion, there, ha there has to be accountability. Mm -hmm. So one of yeah. my things yeah. is, is when we, when we get that plumbing evaluation charge, let's say we didn't do the job. I need to be called. I personally need to be called. Mm. If we're charging a customer plumbing evaluation, because that drives me nutty nuts. because it's like, mm. we're here, we're here to, and I and think that has to drive me nuts guy. every single time. If that's part of the culture, every time mm -hmm. what you get, it's every single time. That's the big mistake that I make when I'm dealing, you know, talking with men or asking, well, how can I be more better leader and that kind of stuff? Well, we talk about this kind of stuff and you know, what, what is the culture you're building? What are you passionate about? Do you guys know it? Da, da, da. And then when they don't do it, do you get on it every single time? every single time mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah every well, time. what we found go ahead no go ahead Bo. Go ahead. what we what we found is is a lot of times you don't really have to rip into a guy it's a matter of it's a matter of setting up an establishment of making them answer for it the reality of the matter is guys don't want to have to answer for things that they yeah. know they've done wrong so you don't yeah. so, and what, like what I teach what I teach our our, our management side because we've got managers to deal over our guys because we make sure that every one of these things gets answered for so we have managers in place and we call it stepping on the sparks in the grass because we don't want it to get to forest fire level we don't want to, we want it, we don't want to get to a grass fire level we want to deal with it the smallest level possible we don't even want a campfire out of control we want sparks <laughs> in the grass dealt with and so we make guys answer for things at the smallest level so we preach these things nonstop but then we put managers in place who deal with them and make guys answer at every single level, uh, make guys answer for it. But what they're looking for is they're looking for answering it to the positive. Yes, I did that. Here's how I did that. It was great that I did that. And then now you get to pump a guy up and, and make a big deal about it to the other guys that this guy's doing this and this guy's doing this and this guy's doing this and, and really build that pop, that positive side of that culture up. It really is a matter of, of having the passion, the belief in what you're doing, but, but then making that answer uh, at each individual step to where a guy can't, can't get 
two or three or four of these things out of line without without having to at least give the answer for it, big or small. I love that. Yeah, I like the metrics. Mm -hmm. Drive the metrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And and I love the the emotion behind it too. That the nugget of gold there that I took from that, which is very important, that I want to make sure everyone when heard as well, was not only the metrics, you know, but but the idea of catching the guys that are doing the right things. You know, I mentioned I'd be on it, see me lose my cool. But what worked even if we had a job that went south and the guy still took responsibility for it, even though it cost us money, we lost money, you know, it's a job from, you know, you know where oh, yeah. um, yeah. and everything. But long and he made even if he made some mistakes in his decision making process, but that he took responsibility at the meeting, he would I would lift him up like, hey, way to go. You know, you were, you know, you were being slaughtered. Um, but the, but you didn't run and hide. You right. you kept with it and way to go, way to serve the customer. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's important. I think metrics and accountability, like you were just talking about, um, and like you say, anytime that you're sitting down with any metrics, and that's something that we're actually diving into. We're starting to use Service Titan. You know, like really diving into the stuff. Lindsay's all into the math now. She's <laughs> getting into it, but like setting down with those technicians and saying like these are the numbers. You know, the numbers don't lie. You know, like your conversions mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, driving those metrics home. And then, of course, like when they're getting a win, you want to let them know that's the most important thing is definitely, you know, encouraging good behavior is, is a big part of developing people. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, I, I think that's a very, very important part of it. Um, something I wanted to say when you guys were talking about the passion mm -hmm. is I think that and this is something I wrote out because I wanted to make notes. I knew we were doing this and, you know, you want to you want to reflect and think, you know, what is the culture of your business? You know, you yeah. want to think you got some great ideas or something, right? Um, and I believe that your business should have a feeling of going somewhere with or without your team. You know, you want them to be a part of something that they know, like, like they're going to be doing this with or without me, right? So mm -hmm. I think having That's that kind good. of the business, well, the business is, it's moving, you know, and like, you know, I'll come in and there'll be new option templates up and things shaking and baking, you know, 4.30 in the morning, I'll be, you know what I mean? And they're like, How, how's he doing all this stuff? You know what I mean? And right. here we are, let's go, you know, let's mm -hmm. go. But this, the, the idea that this thing is going forward with or without with my it. team, and I want you to come, you mm -hmm. know, but yeah. having that kind of part of your culture, like there's exciting things happening. We're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this, we're doing this, you know, and it's going to go, we're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can come with this or you can't, you don't have to come with this, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. I think that's a big part of your culture. You, you want your team to know, like, we're doing stuff here. It, jump on board or not, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's just that's something that's just really stood out to me in my mind. I just know that I'm so driven on what I'm doing that it doesn't matter if my team's coming or not. You know, I want them to come. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Let's like, I really party. want my team. My team's important yeah. to me. I mm -hmm. want to develop my people. I want to help my people. But I'm focused on building this organization and and making it great, you know, and I want a great work environment for my team, but it's either you're on board or you're not, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. how do you start? Yeah, huh? well, I, I was yeah. going to ask most of you guys, you know, you started from a, huh. a smaller, you know, started in humble beginnings, shall we say, right? right? So now you're, you're all, all, all of you guys are million dollar plumbers, right? Um, right now. So how, what's the advice to go to give to you? However many years ago, when it was you and maybe one or two guys, yeah, one truck truck, one truck and, trucks, and right? A, when you bring upper. on your first employee, and right. how do you establish that culture from the beginning, or do you are you find it is something that just kind of developed over time? In the beginning, you're just get the jobs, get the jobs, get the jobs, and not worry about culture so much. I'd say keep it professional right from the very get go. That's the number one. Interactions have to be professional. If you're if you're interviewing at Starbucks and you know, setting yeah. up a little coffee station and a mat in your garage with two chairs and, you know, it's clean and organized and you keep it professional from the very beginning of with all interactions with employees. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, you know, buddy, buddy or go to my house and, you know, I know we're not busy, but rake my yard. I mean, that just don't work, you know, right. <laughs> you got to be professional from the very get go. Mm -hmm. So that attitude, I love that. that mm -hmm. That's yeah. a nugget right there. Mm -hmm. Having it added part of it is the attitude that that I I am already. Mm -hmm. um, I love uh, Matt. What, what you're saying here, where a uh, charge where you want to be, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, yep, charge for where you're not. Want to be not where you are. Right. I, I love that. Uh, you know, you're saying there. Um, that kind of goes with the attitude. We got to think of ourselves already having this culture, 
and, and, and who we are kind of already in place when it's just still me in the truck, mm-hmm. you know, driving, driving this thing. And Bo, you've got right. two different locations, right? Yeah. Yes. So how, how do you manage that? Keeping oh, the culture. Well, the big thing is, is getting the right kind of people in place to manage and training up and building up managers. We, we, I really pride myself in bringing in managers and, and bring them up and training them up. We've got two locations. We're actually firing off a third right now. And, and the key to it is bringing in managers, guys that, that really can, can, can be, be champions and defenders of your culture. So you you train them, you, you train them to get them to really believe in the culture. You train them to really deal with things as far as guys being out of line in the culture. Um, even to the comment earlier, the, the sparks in the grass, the thing is, you train them to, to never let themselves get frustrated by, by failures in the culture, but to deal with things before they can get frustrated about them because they believe it so much, they're not going to let things get that far. Uh, um, it, it really comes down to having the right people in play and, 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 and finding people that believe in it so much that they become a defender of your culture because mm-hmm. they believe in it to that level. Mm-hmm. Oh, good stuff good. here. Mm-hmm. Good stuff here. Mm-hmm. So good. Lots nuts, nuggets of gold here, guys, mm-hmm. guys here. Hey, I'm going to give these guys just a little break. We'll be right back with our masters here. But uh, I have a nugget of gold for you, okay? <laughs> just just for being here, whether you're here live or watching the replay mm-hmm. or listening to the podcast. Mm-hmm. And that's my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint, okay? Mm-hmm. In my Million Dollar Plumber <laughs> Blueprint are mm-hmm. all the specs you need, <laughs> all right, to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right? Even touches on kind of what we're talking about right here. Very, very, very important, all right? And the blueprint is free, all right? So there's no excuse, all right? It's free. Simply type free in the comments mm-hmm. or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward mm-hmm. slash free and grab your free blueprint, blueprint. today. today. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get our masters back in here. Mm-hmm. One last segment here. Right. Chat with them. See if we can't get, mm-hmm. uh, I want to drag some more gold. Mine's some more gold working. out of these guys. <laughs> All right. And I love, I love this group here. Each one of you here does have a unique culture. Mm-hmm. You set that culture up. Um, it's fun for most of you. I, I know you're coming from basically one truck and, and watching you grow and doing mm-hmm. what you're doing and making the changes, you know. Well, Bo wasn't one truck when we met Bo. Bo no, was... No. Um, but we broke him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we broke him. Bo was already broke when you met him. Yeah, we broke him. Pulling <laughs> <laughs> my hair out. Yeah. Yeah. No pun. No pun. Right? All right. We, we no, reduced uh, him to one truck, I think. I, I remember. I personally remember when Bo. You know, he was yeah. right at the beginning. He was having a hell of a time. Yeah. Because, yeah. Bo, you, you yeah. had, how many trucks did, did you have? Yeah, and yeah. you were doing, was it just all commercial or new construction? I don't remember. Well, it wasn't so much trucks because uh, we, we, we were in construction. So mm-hmm. uh, we, we dealt mostly out of job trailers. So I, I had, I think, 26 guys uh, at that time wow. and, uh, and, and uh, several job trailers that we dropped on, on sites yeah. and move around. So it wasn't as much trucks wasn't, isn't an adequate measure necessarily for where we were at. But, uh, but yeah, we, I mean, we were, we, were, we were really turning stuff, that's for <laughs> sure. But while we were turning lots of revenue, we weren't keeping any of it and uh and and to be honest with you the culture was i don't know that bad is a good enough word for it i mean the the culture was to a point of you know i'd be i'd be hyperventilating monday morning before i go out to the shop because i knew it was going to be a battle just to get people Mm. to to do what they were going to do and and i I don't have problems confronting people and dealing with things It, it was to the point it was just i mean you know, throwing up all night Saturday night because of the stress levels of it, mm. of dealing with people. The culture was terrible, mm. and uh, and and so you you ask, what would I tell a a, yeah. a one truck guy uh, going up from there? Recruit often, fire anyone that doesn't fit your culture. No yeah. mercy, no hold back. Yeah. If they don't fit your yeah. culture, they're yeah. out. If they do fit your yeah. culture, feed them, spoil them, take care of them, build them up, do all that. But if they don't fit, you're not doing anybody any favors, yourself or them, yes. by holding them. Mm-hmm. Let them find some place where they do fit, because if they don't fit, they should not be uh, I'm with you. It's going to hurt you and them, really, in all honesty. Most One of my guys that are, are actually doing better where they are now because mm-hmm. they, they, they're they they're in a place that fits the culture they want to be in. Mm-hmm. And now we've yeah. brought in new people that fit the culture where we want to be. Mm-hmm. Works great. 
Perfect. Huge. And then fit and edge, bind into your values too. Bind your, bind your company values. Yes. So as soon as you can find out any type of that, your company values are a reflection of you. So the reason why your business is successful, even if you are one guy in a truck, it's what you are channeling through the customer. So you mm -hmm. have to learn how to replicate that. And it's typically a handful of values that are important for you. And you need to define that quickly, as quick as you can. It, it evolves over time. And then you want to find people that will buy into that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, like one of ours is know the code, apply the code, or just things like that. That's important to me to know that you're making sure you're doing this stuff, the plumbing code, or uh, whatever that mm -hmm. is. Um, educate the customer, whatever your value is, but get your values in line and then make sure those people are buying into that. And then you, it's going to be much easier to uh, keep those people on and grow because at least they're buying into what is important to you. I right. love in DW you do very very good as well as um, the sayings. So Matt, you know, you know the sayings as well. Mm -hmm. uh, all of you have the good mm -hmm. sayings, but that saying thing is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, like know the code, apply the code. Mm -hmm. That these simple yeah. little things, like you, you know, my thing here with MDP. You guys know me of some saying you know, it ain't about plumbing. Well, that comes yeah. from me telling my guys for years, mm -hmm. which is pointing yeah. towards our culture. It ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. It's about taking care of Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. It ain't about yeah. plumbing, you know. So having coming up with you know some your own personal sayings with within your company that mm -hmm. that um, state what your culture is in a, in a fun way like that. Mm -hmm. We give yeah. options, never ultimatums. You know that's another one. So yeah. options okay. is part mm -hmm. of the inception, the acronym. You know, options was something that's really important to us. It's something that we've been trained on from the uh, inception of our company. Yeah. Uh, it's options, <laughs> options, options. So, uh, so it's uh, you know we give options, never ultimate. So it's just a big deal for our company. You know, so mm. if people come in and they buy into that, you know, are they willing to work your systems and do what you ask of them? Then you're going to be better off. So make sure, like out the gate, when you're filling these people out, if they're not buying into what you're trying to do, then they're probably not going to be a good fit. Mm. Um, you know, you give them some feedback and. If they, if they change, that's great, but right. you know, that's mm -hmm. important that they bind your, your values. Know what your values are, what's important. Mm -hmm. Right on, right on, right on. Go ahead, Bo. A lot of it comes down to, to the kind of recruiting you do. If you, if you see your recruiting as, as, as a sales and, and you see it as you're selling to, to a, an avatar technician and you really, really sell that culture, well into the early parts you're recruiting then all the way into your onboarding you'll bring people in that are excited about it whether it's because it's what they already believe or it's because they're looking for something new mm. I know. And that's what i was wondering too with um the the techs that you've got that really have bought into the culture do they identify somebody that comes in maybe not that's not a good fit and they don't want to tarnish the culture have you experienced i had a guy that? last a week I had a guy last one week and I, cause zero, zero out of five. And, and I never, the guy would always, you know, blow smoke in my face. Oh, I want to be a team player. I want to be this. Mm -hmm. I've been plumbing for 20 years. And I'm like, all right, now go ride with this employee. Go mm -hmm. ride with that. And every single one came back. They said, I have a weird feeling about this guy. Mm -hmm. Don't keep him. Mm -hmm. Don't keep him. And sure enough, at the end of the week, I sat him down and I said, Hey, I just, I don't know what it is, but you're not a good fit here. Mm -hmm. And I listened to my plumbers and they saw that mm. and we, we, we grew closer because of that, right. because it's like, this is our, this isn't just my baby. This is our yep. baby. That's why it's not called Matt Delney plumbing incorporated. Mm. It's Mountaineer. <laughs> Mountaineers, yeah. Mountaineers build this image. Mountaineers aren't one person. It's a team that gets up the mountain. People don't climb mountains by themselves. Mm. It's a team. We all take ourselves up the mountain. Mm. That's why I love the image of Mountaineer. That's why I named it Mountaineer. That's good. Uh, when, when people ask me, mm -hmm. because I don't have any mountains in West Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> there's some hills. You can ski some hills, but there's no mountains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to bike up sometimes. Right. <laughs> oh, good stuff, guys. Yeah, you guys. know, culture is so, so, so important mm -hmm. and, and so vital to the success of, mm -hmm. of your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And uh, these guys. Uh, you guys has figured out a thing are too. doing a great job at it mm -hmm. and really and appreciate we're always it. improving it too right yes. we're always improving oh you know there's pieces there's there's areas of your business that might have a not a great culture you know or something that's not perfect you know but you know right. you do this really well you know so you're always evolving too so it's 
That's a good he point. Might, he he doesn't use as close to perfect as you can get, though. That's He's true. Just, <laughs> <laughs> if I can get it in a spreadsheet, oh. we're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> if, I can, if, I can get, if I can get it in a spreadsheet, but if I can't get it in a spreadsheet, people don't go in spreadsheets, man. So No, sadly. Right. <laughs> well, my, my, my take, takeaway is, you know, it has to be clear with met. I like the idea, you know, metric. It has to be measured. Mm -hmm. It helps with the guys. Um, you know, passion was a word that was laid out here. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you gotta gotta be passionate about it, mm -hmm. and um, you know the culture is just, uh, um, and it's something you gotta be on personally. You gotta bring it yourself. Mm -hmm. I think one of you mentioned that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, one of you saying that. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta bring it. Um, they're not gonna bring. You know, your guys just aren't gonna do it. And mm -hmm. so, so you gotta be, you know, be about it and be on it. Absolutely. And, um, Can I speak to that one more one yeah. more thing? Is yeah, you know those values like I was talking about. Um, a lot of people grow their businesses and sell them off. And I know uh, Richard done, done that. Um, but you had some values that you probably have on the wall. And now they're just words on mm -hmm. the wall. So having the owner behind the business as it scales up and defining what is important and what the values are that went from that one guided truck to multiple, right? Right. Um, it's important to have those values on the wall and own up to them. If not, they just become words on the wall. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's when you sell your business, they will. Oh, DW, and I'm glad you brought that. It, it just emphasizes the importance of of how we, the owner, ha yes. have to bring it and be all about it. Because I can tell you, I'll use, I'll use my company as an example. We built this up and did really well, and we sold it. The company is a shell of itself now mm -hmm. because yeah. the new owners didn't have the same values and the same passion, um, the same culture. In fact, they didn't build a call. They were writing just the name of Attaboy Plumbing and reputation. Mm -hmm. Reputation starts coasting down. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you can't, that's not what, and these words on the wall are just words on the wall. Mm -hmm. There's words on the wall. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. just words on the they wall. They gotta that's mean something, those values. They gotta buy right. into that stuff. And if those people gotta fit your values, whatever those are, mm -hmm. you gotta define that yourself. It takes time. It's gonna take right. time oh, to define sure. your values. You don't even know what that is. Like mm -hmm. when you're starting out, but you know the things that are important to you and what customer service is and how you get the job done end to end, happy yeah. customer and putting money in the bank. So mm -hmm. how do you replicate that? Well, you have to project what it is that you do, your values through your people, and mm -hmm. then they got to buy into that and they just can't be words on the wall. Right. Good. That's a, that is a great, mm -hmm. we're going to end right there because that's a great place to end. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Mic Boom. drop. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. Love our masters. I, I, yeah. mm -hmm. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey gang, nuggets of gold here. I know we had some glitches and some things happening here. Go back and, and listen to them. Mm -hmm. um, Hey, thank you guys uh, for being here. Mm -hmm. I know we just we just left the screen here. Oh, uh, guys, stick around the green room. Yes, please. Oh, right. We just kicked him right uh, out. We just we? kicked him right out. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, stick in the green room, please. Right. But hey, go back and listen here, mm -hmm. gang. Uh, nuggets of gold here. Mm -hmm. Okay, culture is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, you, you're creating it whether you realize it or not. Mm -hmm. So you might as well create a positive culture, your culture, the culture that that uh you know you you want your company environment to be yep. okay mm -hmm. so there we have it okay all right hey mm. if you want to know more about culture <laughs> and other aspects that are extremely important to building a successful self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business mm -hmm. you need to check out my million dollar plumber success academy you do mm -hmm. all right there we go <laughs> hit it shelby <laughs> everything you need to know right there Okay, and 12 bite-sized modules, over 150 video courses, okay, covering everything you need to know. And right now, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm going to keep it. I love 14-day free trial. I know. They were talking about getting rid of free. I said, no, I want, no, I want to make no. it easy for my guys, okay, <laughs> so you can just get in there. 14-day free trial to check it out, okay, no strings attached, okay, 14-day free trial to check it out. But, but if you're serious about growing your plumbing business, mm -hmm. I've hooked you. <laughs> okay. All right. I've hooked you. Simply type success in the comments or go to mm -hmm. the million dollar plumber .com forward slash success mm -hmm. to grab your free trial now. There we go. All right. Hey, thanks again to my masters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love those guys. Um, hey, they started, you know, right where you're at. Humble beginnings. Okay. Humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. And now they're multi truck, multi million dollar plumbing businesses. And you mm -hmm. can too. Mm -hmm. Because you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. Mm -hmm. So plumb like a champion. Bye bye. Thank you tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it.
To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now and join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.